Hi everybody, my name is Saurabh Chatterjee and today I'm going to do a review of the pictures taken on the 27th of uh, February 2019. So we go for a lot of photo walks and uh, and we try to take pictures together, learn from each other and uh, in the end I do a review of the pictures as you can see this is what I'm doing now and uh, thanks to Naveen for organizing this walk so he has put in a lot of efforts to organize the whole thing and uh, and that's what made this photo walk very very successful so uh, thanks to Naveen so we have uh, quite a lot of number participants who have sent their pictures and uh, I'm going to go through them and uh, and then maybe I'll quickly talk about what could have been better in in that situation okay. so uh, the first participant is uh, Bhavani so well this is good but not not something really great this uh, composition could have been better a little better angle uh, maybe right from the top or uh, maybe at a some better angle definitely could have been better uh, little tilted uh, little too close uh, this this looks quite good to me except that uh, here I can see this little bit of distraction so uh, maybe I would use something to just cover this up say darken this in Lightroom but ideally I would like to really pay attention while composing the picture right in the camera now, this is a lovely picture so this is actually like this where uh, uh, I made this into black and white so you see this this looks so so much better in black and white so you see I okay. uh, love the composition of this picture and uh, the little bit of blurry movement so you see this was shot at probably a little slower shutter speed it is 1 60th of a second so you got little blur so very nice shot again a very nice shot here as well uh, but I like the this picture a little more than the previous one uh, well you see the the background is not good with with these people the feet in the background people wearing jeans so very very distracting uh, well uh, maybe I would love to have a little better angle but again you see the moment I do this into black and white it definitely makes a lot of difference to the picture uh, nice it's a nice picture but uh, they are little distracting background some of this composition is not working out properly yeah this is lovely but uh, if I have a series of pictures and probably I would have this uh, as a part of the series but uh, out of all the pictures that we have here I would uh, definitely take this one okay so yeah this is good but maybe this looks little too tight to me okay, so it was actually like this so made this into black and white definitely makes a lot of difference you see, these, these pictures are kind of made to be black, black and white because you see the shadows are so much uh, nicely visible here okay so uh, now I'm going to the next next lot so we have uh, Murti okay so we have a couple of pictures I already went through the pictures just going through them once again so here uh, you see this this uh, poles and all are a little bit distracting so I would just try to avoid that that distraction so maybe something like this okay so and uh, I think the focus is not proper on the lady so maybe little better focusing would uh, definitely help this is pretty good so very nice still life okay so again making this into black and white made uh, made some difference to the picture okay, so yeah again uh, this is a black and white picture so originally this was a color picture so i made this into black and white and and that, that definitely makes a lot of difference and uh, you can actually play around with these in the HSL menu, when, even when you are doing it in black and white, you can play with the color channels and uh, that will definitely make a lot of difference to the pictures. Otherwise, you, you see it has also a lot of these uh, presets available. So you can use one of the presets and uh, that will also make some difference to the picture. Okay, so uh, nice. This, this is a really nice picture. So next one. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, this is also a lovely picture that I can see here. So it shows uh, what the water is doing. Yeah, this is again a uh, it's good, but yeah, this picture was really good. So I really like this picture with the background. So I I think I did a little bit of crop of this. You see the top and the, the side. So. Uh, avoided the unnecessary areas and uh, yeah, as Robert Kappa said that getting closer makes the picture look much better so if you're not close enough you're not good enough so you have to get a little close avoid the unnecessary areas in the picture so yeah, yeah nothing really very interesting here so th this one picture I really like with uh, the potter doing the work and some uh, pottery in the background and the door so definitely uh, very nice picture again uh, you see the moment I do this into black and white the colors are the distracting colors are gone and you have a much better shape available here so a little bit of amount of post pressing can definitely help make this picture uh, look be look better so maybe I will just use the quickly use the brush tool on the face and uh, just increase the Yeah. All right. This is a nice picture, very nice picture. And uh, so again, uh, I tried making this into black and white. In initially, it was uh, it was like like this. You see the this right hand side bottom corner is taking away my attention. This block on which uh, he is uh, doing this. So. Uh, I made this into black and white and then I use a grad filter to darken this part so that uh, you see now how your attention is moving from this uh, block that you see here to his face okay so uh, uh, all these pictures require some amount of post processing so you have to first uh, visualize how you want the picture to be what are the distracting elements in your picture so even though you have composed it this way there's a nice composition but how can you make it even better okay nice nothing really great uh, this is lovely but uh, you see the background <coughs> is some distraction in the background which uh, could be avoided uh, this is again uh, a nice picture but you see there are two overlapping people there so kind of not that appealing this t-shirt this t-shirt is something very modern so whenever I shoot people uh, doing something very traditional I try to avoid people wearing something very modern so probably that's why I would not uh, choose this this picture also his hands are not visible so he's doing some work but his uh, hands are not visible so yeah so we'll, we'll go to the next lot so we have Naveen yeah. so I like the gaze of the lady yeah is uh, and the little bit of blur of the broom as you can see yeah, this boy nice I like this angle a little low angle and uh, with this pot skipped at the side so definitely makes it look quite interesting and uh, yeah this okay, this man working inside you see again uh, need some amount of post processing you can bring out more details of this part will definitely make this picture look much more interesting but you see there's some it doesn't work so with this a uh, lot of distracting elements in the foreground this looks quite okay okay I like this uh, this boy there's multiple frames in the same picture very nice imagination very nice spotting these things so you have to be aware to look around and look for these interesting elements this is quite interesting the lady is uh, arranging the pots into the basket again uh, I made this into black and white initially it was something like like this let me show it to you okay so increase the contrast yeah. so very nice low angle so a lot of action happening but uh, maybe with the building in the background doesn't look that appealing uh, and this is nice but could have been better so I don't like this uh, very modern building in the background this is a lovely picture
you see though this does not have any people i really like this picture because of uh, tells a story about you see there's a old uh, wheel which probably would have been very busy at some point of time but now there's nobody to use this and i like this uh, this inscriptions on the wheel so very interesting yeah so the two people talking yeah nice uh, with his uh, pots in the foreground looks quite interesting so i'll go back to prabhu okay so we have uh, okay this is a nice but not really something really great about this picture uh, i like this composition so uh, we already had somebody taking a similar picture but i think i like this more than the previous one uh, this angle is little too low not really working out well uh, there is a lovely door with lovely uh, door with this uh, this leaves hanging so very beautiful colors like the arrangement of these uh, leaves yeah this again lovely so i think i crop this image yeah so this is not straight so you have to know how to edit the picture as well so this is not straight and some distracting elements as you can see here so i avoided that and, uh, and, and got that this thing so nice picture but i don't like this uh, vignetting white vignetting here so looks little too much uh, artificial so maybe you can avoid these things uh, you can add a black vignetting by the way so that that probably would work here but white it looks very artificial uh, again uh, maybe a better angle would have worked here uh, too close a little bit of blur too much uh, i mean not the the angle is uh, not that great and maybe too close uh it'll over saturated the angle also does not work some distractions in the background so probably that doesn't work for me again uh, too much of light here and uh yeah probably the angle also could have been better so whenever you are editing the picture just see the histogram so you see here the, we have very blown out highlights so yeah maybe reducing the exposure uh, would work here in this case okay then we have uh, prasad this picture is very good very nice composition and uh, here i actually did some editing to this picture this was a color picture i made this into black and white actually something like this you can see in the top part this is very distracting so i i made this into black and white and pull a grad filter so that this part is dark so uh, this is how the resulting image looks like so i was able to avoid all the this overwhelming wall that i have here okay nice this is a lovely angle and you can see the the colors you see quite contrasty colors you have this blue and uh, the rusted metal and uh, then you have this pots uh, yeah the glass uh, cups so definitely makes a very interesting picture very nicely composed okay could have been better composition so uh, too many things around the main subject yeah two people but i can't see their faces so probably i i would not really like this picture so i think we had a better picture than than this one previously yeah so a uh, really top angle nice but i would probably have a little more Uh, getting little closer and uh, having less elements and uh, yeah yeah and this is too close for me and uh, you see of uh, we have just three rows and then still you have cut the cups here so i would probably like to have more of the cups okay all the three rows uh, should be visible in, in my opinion uh, this is a nice frame okay, this is nice how uh, is arranging maybe i would like to have little more of the hand here Uh, otherwise a uh, very unique angle something different from what other people have done okay is a nice framing i like the the texture of the hand and and how the wheel is rotating so very nice so though, though it's a very common picture it has been framed very well again a very similar picture but i think here we have got some blur okay, maybe let's see it's 160th of a second but yeah we still have got some blur in the picture okay. yeah so so this blue the distracting things here 
will this angle hardly uh, doesn't find I don't find this really interesting because this part is a uh, little uh, blurry I would probably go a little down and take this picture okay so here are some distracting people in the background here you can see okay this is quite pretty nice okay so a big one and a small one so these pictures are definitely black and white pictures this is a lovely frame so i really like this picture as i was going through before i definitely like this picture i like the hand uh, the only thing i would suggest about this picture is i wish i could see a little bit of the eyes so uh, you have a shallow depth of field which uh, works out here i really like it but i would have loved to see the other eye as well you can see only one uh, here okay so that is about pratap then we're going to rajesh okay so uh, the boy standing so maybe a little bit on action would have made some more made this picture look more interesting okay so a statue but not really well in focus i guess okay so yeah so here is a So some kind of action happening that man is taking uh, so like this picture but you see i have uh, these wires so a lot of distractions here so not the best image that we saw in this so one person one photographer shooting okay nice so this is again a nice frame with no distractions uh, this is quite good you see only the hands no distractions at all and beautiful light falling on the hand so definitely makes Uh, the picture look more interesting again uh, this was this was actually something like this so i increased the exposure here so did uh, use a radial filter that definitely makes it look more uh, uh, much better in terms of the exposure and uh, yeah so here i don't like this things in the foreground so maybe a uh, little more detail in this in this situation okay so people shooting Okay, but uh, maybe could have been a little better frame. Oh, this is a lovely picture where everybody is around the potter taking the picture. Very storytelling picture. Very interesting. Okay, so yeah, nothing much to say about this. Okay, so who else is left? We have Sai Chan. Okay, very normal picture. Could have been composed a little better. Again. Uh, very but i like the the way this has been framed so um, with these uh, statue in the background so you see i have used the brush and i've added some more detail here so that uh, you know we have an added level of interestingness in the picture yeah and this is not the best shot of this place i think we have a little better composition so this uh, blown out background definitely doesn't look that uh, great so very common composition yeah again these pictures will definitely look much much better in black and white as you can see all the shapes are so nicely visible when i do it into black and white okay so yeah just quickly going through them yeah so here again you see some distraction so always always try to see beyond the subject see if there's something very interesting in the background so you can include it if there's nothing in the background then you can just avoid having these things is a nice frame very nice frame uh, here and we have teja bloody not a good uh, yeah so you you must whatever you do you must have a technically correct picture most of the time so sometimes bloody pictures really work well but but in other situations it doesn't really do a good job so yeah so bloody bloody This is a lovely picture. And here we, I did some amount of uh, processing as I would like to show you. So it was initially like this. I made it to something like this. So I used a radial filter, and uh, and you see how your attention is now going from the bright patches to right on the face. Okay, so the the unique picture uh, we we haven't seen many portraits in this uh, series. so yeah this is one of the good ones 
okay so uh, quite nicely in focus but yeah somehow i don't like the composition this is a lovely picture this is a very ni nice picture very beautiful colors the only thing i would i wish there would have been some some separation between the subject and the door so that would have been definitely uh, uh, much better okay so little out of focus or blur okay we are not a good really good composition i really like this picture the way it has been composed very nice but the only thing could have been better is this this uh, man in jeans so that really kind of takes away all the beauty otherwise you see this empty wall this is a very different composition and and i really like it okay so some action happening okay, so who else is left here we have she is a nice frame so very different from the other pictures and i like how on this corner he has tried to make this picture look interesting so there is some design here which kind of uh, makes every inch of the picture look very interesting there is already a lot of things here and uh, this kind of completes the composition again something very common but uh, yeah this is still live picture that yeah but the composition could have been i think this this is a quite a nice picture here yeah some distraction here little blurry maybe the shutter speed was slow so it's 130th of a second so you have to really take care what shutter speed you are using so um, probably using uh, iso 200 that's why the, your shutter speed came down so slow so maybe uh, using auto iso in this situation would be very helpful okay too many people some clutter in uh, not a very good composition something distracting in the background again some people so you see even though there were a lot of people there are some people who got really good composition so that's what you have to aim for it's nice you have this series of uh, baskets with the uh, pots and then you have this series of bikes and this people walking very interesting environmental uh, shot of this place okay this is a uh, shots of sudanshu so the, uh, i hate to see this this watermark right in the center and it's an eye that really takes away my attention so uh, uh, ideally i would not uh, review this picture but i think uh, he has put in a lot of efforts to come for the photo work so i would go through them but sudan show this is uh, last time I'm, i would like to see this picture with uh, these kind of watermarks right in the center so if you are really that uh, conscious that somebody will steal your pictures and probably it is not a good idea to to share them at all maybe you can just have it in your hard drive so Uh, this is nice this is also good picture so this picture uh, it was actually like this i would just so show you how this picture was i i did some if you go to the history okay this was actually like this which was very flat as you can see in color so i just did little bit of uh, black and white and uh, increase the clarity so now you see the faces such so nicely visible okay but again this uh, this eye is really i mean taking away my attention so but otherwise yeah, this is a nice picture but then so next time i mean so you see the eye is right in the center so i am not able to see anything at all because of the eye so well i'll i'll give all these pictures a, a miss but yeah and that was one picture we saw which was uh, really good yeah, from sudan shu well who's next we have sapna sapna and wajat okay so staring at some other side uh, i wonder why this stamp is come time stamp so you, you don't need to have the time stamp on the picture because everything is already captured in the exif information so maybe this is not a very good idea to have it here Uh, i don't know what kind of processing has been used or maybe uh, was it taken with a mobile phone or something so i'm not really able to understand this uh, some kind of uh, effect has been added to all the pictures yeah. so yeah you might like to try some better composition so yeah this looks good it also looks good yeah maybe you have to work a little bit on the composition so this is good so this is something unique compared to what other people have shot so this is this is nice this looks good like a very vast stretch 
very uh, very well composed uh, picture compared to others you see the, the potter is there and with this little bit of background the only thing i would like to see little more of the background with this picture that would have been very storytelling so little too tight can uh, wish the hand was also in the frame uh, so yeah you can see a very good play of light and shadows in this this picture see i, I wish this lady was in light in this situation would have been a really good picture okay, so so that's what we have for today so i'll just quickly go through the, the ones which i have selected so we have the 17 pictures so there is uh, i'm not really telling you who is a first prize winner or something like that so i'll just go through the other picture which i really like so very well composed nicely done okay so you know very well composed uh, nicely done picture again you see these pictures look definitely much better in black and white you know very nice picture so no distractions a nice picture with, with this thing in the background very nice okay this is a you know, nice picture very beautiful colors so th i think this is the only color picture which uh, i like rest because the shapes is all good as black and white pictures and yeah so some action happening nicely frame so i just cut off this and definitely looks better yeah, very nicely framed picture uh, this again a uh, very nice picture except this uh, watermark that i can see here you know beautiful picture of the lady so i like the tilt she is just bringing all the pots she already has two and she is trying to accommodate the third one okay, so very storytelling picture so one potter surrounded by so many photographers as you can see okay another nice picture here and again a very beautiful picture i really like this okay so yeah so these are the pictures there is only I think one only portrait which we have so uh, otherwise we have some very beautiful environmental portraits yeah this is nice but as, as i said i would like to see the other eye also in this picture otherwise i really like this yeah, this is also a very nice picture so that's pretty much uh, what we have for today and uh, yeah so these are our coordinates so you can join our meetup group so meetup is where we we post about all the events we do a lot of workshops and photo tours so you are most welcome to join so there are numbers if you want to get in touch with us you can follow us on instagram and uh, this is me saurabh chatterjee signing off and uh, and see you again thank you very much